Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by appliancevideo.com. Today, we are working on a Samsung top load washing machine. We will be showing you how to remove and replace your door lock assembly. To begin this repair, you must first access the back of the unit to remove the console cover. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Tools you will need for this repair is a number two Phillips screwdriver and a tack puller. To remove your console cover, there are multiple screws around the perimeter that will have to be taken out. These are all number two Phillips. Once these have been removed, use something to pry off on the edges of the console cover. Pop it out and set it aside. Next, our lid switch harness is tucked behind the noise filter. You'll have to lift up, press in on the tab to separate it so that you can feed the wire through the front. Now to lift the top, there are three screws that will have to be removed. All three number two Phillips. These two on the side are just holding the top on. And the third one is for this plate. This is just a wire cover plate. We'll remove that screw, plug out on the bracket and bend it down so that we can lift the top. Next, lift up on the back so it clears your back portion of the casing. Grab a hold of the front. Lift up, start to pull out. Tilt it on the back frame of the unit and use something to prop up the top so that it will not fall. Now the main reasons why you'd be replacing a lid switch is if it is throwing that lid switch air code, maybe it won't go into spin, maybe it won't fill. A lot of times what I've noticed with these units is you'll keep hearing a clicking whenever it is trying to lock the lid switch. Now this is also a safety mechanism, so if the lid switch is not closed, it will not run. And what I have found is, is that a lot of times customers will try to open the lid while it's locked and end up breaking the tab off the lid switch mechanism. To remove it first, we will guide through our wiring harness, undo the wire ties that are supporting it. Once you've done this, there are two screws under the lid switch that will have to be taken out. They're both Phillips. Pull down and set it aside. To install your lid switch, insert the first screw. Next, we will guide it to the holding bracket that is underneath. Start the screw by hand. And then tighten. Now before you get it all the way tight, kind of give it a wiggle. Make sure it's held in place. This one can drop up a little bit. There we go. Tighten the screw. Replace the screw with the strain reliever attached to it. Feed the wires through your holding ties. We 
will slide back in our wiring harness. Now we can drop the top. To reinstall your top, hold on to it, remove the item that you use to prop it up. You will have to guide the side pins in. Once you have the side pins in, grab the top on the back and lift up slightly to drop it into place. Next, we will reinstall your screws. They're holding on the top portion of the washing machine. Your top plate, make sure you guide it into the slotted area on the right side. Guide your metal back and reinstall the screw. Next, we'll plug back in our lid switch harness. And you'll guide it into the slotted area that you took it from previously. Make sure your power cord is secure. Now when putting this back on, the top will have to go in at an angle and then clip it into place. Now go around the perimeter and replace all the screws that you had taken off previously. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.